there. Okay, so I get this question all the time. What is the difference between bronzer and contour? Okay, they're two completely different things. So I'm going to show you with my Saint makeup. So I have, it comes in many colors. Saint has four or five different colors of bronzers now. They used to only have one that was great for everybody, Bella. So if you're not sure which contour color, I always default, you can always get Bella because they only had that one. But if you're a little paler like me, they came out with tan lines. And I always put it next to my main because I'll use them together and I'll show you in a second. They also have a bunch of different contour colors. Here's my trick in picking contour color. I tend to match it with your eyebrows. You can use it to fill in your eyebrows or align your lips, the contour from Saint, but that's how I tend to sort of do it as well. So I am gonna show you contour is going to be like creating shadows to make give the illusion that your face um, is more chiseled. Either in my case, I have a very high forehead, so I'm gonna put it up there to try to minimize. So it's like, hello, 10 head, um, minimize that. I'm gonna bring it in here to sort of chisel out, make it look like I have more of cheekbones. I'm gonna put it here to kind of make it a more defined jawline and to slim down my nose, okay? So I'm gonna show that to you first. I was, and you just put it up here. It frames the face. And actually, if you really want to know a good way to do it, it's like a three. See, look, I'm going to come down here. See that? So it was really interesting. I am big on self-help. Um, I did not, I have nothing on my face right now except a little mascara, just so you know. I don't have any of my highlights or anything like that. I'm just going to do the contour first. So you can see already, right? What you're going to do is you're going to find where your, your cheekbone is and hug the bottom of it. And I'm not gonna go really past the center sort of of my eye, not even really like that end of my eye. And then I'm gonna use this and do this. The only time you're ever gonna swipe, see how all of a sudden swipe down is on the neck and the jawline. So I'm really big into self-help. And I'm going to blend this all in. Don't get scared. I'm just showing you. I'm really big into self-help. And I was re listening to a podcast. I thought it was great. And it was list three things that would make you happy now. So, you know, having dinner with your family every night. And make it really substantial. This is going to thin out my nose. You see that? Just lightly on the side. Now, contour, you're not going to want to blend in completely because you still want that shadow, okay? So that's the contour. Now I'm gonna, so three things that make you happy. So in my case, like I love sitting down for dinner, making dinner with my husband and my kids and we sit down and we have like some of our best conversations, right? While I do that, I'm gonna just put in some other stuff. I'm gonna take my brightener and just bring it down to show you. And some of my best conversations um, happen at the end of dinner. That's why a lot of times our dinner, this is all brightener, our dinner takes forever to get through. And that's okay because that's my favorite time. Another thing that makes me happy is meditation. Meditate once, uh, well, I try for twice a day. Um, and I'm gonna put in just my main while I'm here, okay? because I can now. Um, and you write the three things that make you happy, whatever makes you happy, okay? And you know, a third thing for me, be beyond, beyond family time, meditation, um, and writing my blog, educating. I love that. And then you write down three things that, um, like your happy ending, which of course I'm filthy, so I'm like laughing. If you don't know what happy ending is, Google it, see what happens to your computer and um, your happy ending, like three things like on your deathbed that you wish you have done. And a lot of times those can line up and that's how you run your life. And I thought that was just fabulous. Okay, so now when it comes to bronzer, I love educating. And so part of it here is doing this because I also love a minimalism lifestyle and that's what I love about Saint Makeup. It's very minimalistic. Like I said, contour can be used for multiple things. You're buying one thing, okay? You're saving money and you're helping to save the environment because you have everything like in one, one tin. That's it, one compact, okay? So bronzer, I use tan lines and I use it in two different ways. One 
you can just take it sort of where the sun will hit you. And I put it right above my contour. We're all blended together. It's sort of like a little sun-kissed look. Or a lot of times I want to change my mane. So I literally, there's no, honestly, there's, it's like, it's, it's not brain surgery. Okay. You just squ squash your, your brush. This is the um, blush and bronzer brush between the two and just, you'll just mix it all in and it just sort of changes up the color. Okay. So I'm going to swirl everything in. So your contour in a nutshell is going to be I want a little lip and cheek color. Your contour, this is, because you're gonna ask me, people are always like, what color did you use? This is, um, the lip and cheek color is Madrid. <laughs> See, I need glasses, right? Um, I like Madrid a lot. It's just a nice, Orally type color. So um, what you're going to do is your contour is sort of like, and remember, I'm now blending the rest of my makeup in. You saw while I was talking, I put on my mane with a little bit of my bronzer, which is tan lines, and I put in my brightener. Everybody gets different colors. It's based on your coloring. So if you want a free color match, free color match. Okay, no obligation. I will leave the link. Okay, just so you could see what you would get. So the bronzer, excuse me, the contour sort of thins out your face in different or accentuates, not necessarily thins out. I want cheekbones, so it, it accentuates or it gives me a more defined look, or it can thin me out in some places or make things look smaller. And your bronzer just brightens you up, okay? It's just sort of gives you that sun-kissed look, okay? If you're like me, you don't sit out in the sun um, because I burn, um, but I still want that in the summery type look. I use bronzer all year round, by the way. It's not just a summery thing where I mix it with my mane. So these are the two differences of bronzer versus contour. The one thing I suggest from bronzer from Saint is definitely get it in the bundle because you're buying the brush and just for $4 more, you're getting the bronzer. So it makes sense. Any questions, please feel free to reach out. And don't forget, three things that you could write down that will make you happy today and three things for your happy ending um, on your deathbed that just so you know, if anything, when your time comes, because it's going to come, we're all going to die. Did you do the three things that made you most happy?